looking really, uh, he's kind of a comic suit. And he was looking intensely under the street lamp. And somebody said, what are you looking for? He said, I'm looking for my keys. And, and, and so they, they're looking very closely at this area. And his friend something, and, and, and he said, it's not here. And he said, well, I mean, did you drop it anywhere else? Oh, yeah, I, I dropped it over there it's the, in that dark spot over there. Well, why are we looking there? He said, so there's more light here. <laughs> now, when you get that joke, which is really what we're doing with this, you understand really what we've been talking about, you know, pioneers like Brian and myself, is that the issue of diabetes is like looking under where there's light and the solution is over there. This is really simple, what we're sharing. Um, okay, let me play with this a little bit. Yeah. Is that better? Okay. I'll try not to be talking to you. Um, this is really simple. And he was looking intensely under the street lamp. And somebody said, what are you looking for? He said, I'm looking for my keys. And, and, and so they, they're looking. OK. Better. OK, she's doing me too. She's doing something on my neck. OK. So what we're talking about is is that people have been healing diabetes with live food since Max Gerson healed Albert Schweitzer in, anybody know him? 1920. Okay. I know people have healed from diabetes here, in Hippocrates, and at different places. And it's really not that hard. And how this book got written is that we did this movie, which you're going to get to see, you're going to get to see the eight minute short, um, at the tree, and we just took six McDonald's people, and we had no clue about live food, but had diabetes. Two of them had type 1, and one of them ended up healing in two weeks of type 1, part of the other thing. And we just put them on a live food diet, plus a few other things, and did our whole program. Uh, we train them in conscious eating, how to, how to prepare the live foods, and so forth. Um, and also, I'll talk a little louder, and also we did the psycho-spiritual training to help them let go of their addictions. And we have really dramatic results, which you'll see some charts here. Um, that will give you an idea of how powerful it is, how really powerful it is. And in a way, how many people here are into live foods? So, okay. So, we're speaking to the choir. That's good, because this is something to share. Okay. Is the results were really phenomenal, and this may be a way, it may be a way to get the rest of our society from trying to not be like Sheikh Nasruddin, looking under the lamp post when the answer is over there. Today, or the other day, I read about they're injecting capsicum into to rat um, pancreases to help them get rid of uh, their diabetes. But, you know, this is a hard way to do it. Diabetes is a symptom, just like global warming, of a culture of death. We'll go through that in just a minute. And we're talking about the culture of life. The culture of life means heart-centered life. It means feeling connected. It means feeling at one. The culture of death is commercial food, high sugar, high meat diet. Um, it means really a disconnection from life. And diabetes is a symptom of that. And it's a worldwide symptom. There's 246 million people of diabetes around the world. One person dies of diabetes every 10 seconds. The United Nations, yeah, it's pretty impressive. The United Nations has actually said that it's now a, a world epidemic. 
Not that they're doing anything about it, but they've said something about it, which is the start. Um, and what we're talking about is this. Society is always taken by surprise by any new example of common sense. An opening, it may be an opening, for this society and the world society to begin understanding about common sense in terms of nutrition. It just may be. And in the United States, there's about 21 million people with diabetes and about, according to the different estimates, about 54 million people who are pre-diabetic. What does pre-diabetic mean? It means in 10 years, most likely, all those pre-diabetics will become diabetic. Okay. It means you have a certain high level of insulin resistance that is speeding up your degeneration. What are we talking about? Diabetics live about a third as long. Uh, they have about a third of their life span lost. 10 to 19 years. It's very significant. And that doesn't include the fact that they have severe chronic degeneration going on that kind of ruins your life in the meantime. What are we talking about there? We're talking about 85% of the people getting blindness. We're talking 20 to 50% of the people with kidney problems. I'm talking about 70% of the people with neuropathy that often results in amputation. And then pretty much once you start that cycle, five years later you're dead. Okay? But you're pretty miserable in those times. Okay? We're talking about two to four times the amount of heart attacks, and 75% of the deaths from diabetes are from heart attacks because your peripheral, uh, your circulatory system begins to shut down with uh, the diabetic physiology. That's what we're talking about. So these are really uh, uh, important things, and it, we're all, all we're talking about is common sense. So we'll, we'll go through some of that. What we're going to do is kind of present a little bit of the statistics, a little bit of what creates it, and a little bit about uh, basic ways to heal it, talking about the live food diet. Uh, what we're going to talk about is the phase one that we get in the rainbow green live food cuisine, which like Brian, we don't include fruit because cancer cells like 10 to 50 times more sugar and fruit does not, fruit makes it worse. So these are the kinds of things that we're, we're talking about. So that's a, a starter. Okay. Now what we're seeing for the pandemic that we're looking at is in the Middle East, it's very high. Just to roughly give you some of the idea of statistics, Bahrain has 32% of the population is diabetic. Saudi Arabia is 26%. This is very high, very, very high. U.S. are running about 8% with Latino, and Afro-Americans, Native Americans running twice, slightly more than twice, of a, a white, the Caucasian uh, population. It's still very, very hot. And so we have this. Okay, here we go. The world leader in diabetes is India. <coughs> yeah, they have more diabetics than anyone else in the world. And then China, and then U.S. 